messing with people on TV for our enjoyment at home. It's one of the most popular forms of entertainment. You've got Man on the Street interviews, What Would You Do, Impractical Jokers, the list goes on and on. Now what do all those shows have in common? They're not the show we're going to be watching today. All of those shows are at least entertaining. Even though I have had my fair share of goofs with What Would You Do, it's still a show you could sit down and just kind of enjoy. But imagine a show that took normal, everyday people, put them in situations where they're treated like garbage, and then rewarded with small amounts of money. Sounds to me like every job I've ever worked. (laughs) It just so happens to also be MTV's Boiling Point. It aired from 2003 to 2007, which, if you ask me, is a little too long. I thought it was like a year, tops. As I mentioned, this show is like What Would You Do in Impractical Jokers, except those shows at least either make you feel good or make you laugh. This show does not do those things. So what does it offer? I'm asking you because I, I've watched a ton of this and I still don't know. The show puts random people into normal everyday situations and then has a paid actor push them to their... Boiling point. During the process, there's a timer on screen that will show us how long they have to last to win the grand prize of a hundred bucks. Not worth it if you ask me. Once again, I don't know how fake this show is. With these types of shows, it's always a mixed bag. Like, some of it's fake, some of it's real. I I never fucking know. There are fake parts of this show, though, and you can tell. It's usually when it's supposed to be a body cam shot and the person is talking directly to it. It's very much an actual camera. This is a insane. the most annoying show on TV. I mean, they're not wrong. So our first scenario here is a grocery store cashier who is checking out customers while talking on the phone to her friend. Ooh. Rebecca's a cashier who's got her lines crossed. If these shoppers don't cut out, they'll connect with some cash. Now might I add, the timer for this boiling point skit is 15 minutes. And that's not 15 minutes from standing in line to checking out. That's 15 minutes from the point she starts scanning your groceries. Setting aside all the shit these people are about to deal with, I cannot fathom a 15 minute grocery store transaction. I worked at a grocery store for five years and I don't think I ever had anything longer than 10 minutes, no matter what the issue was. So these people are entitled to financial compensation from the start. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, I wasn't talking to you. Uh. Now when it comes to these actors, I would like to give them props because I hate confrontation more than I hate paying my license sticker on time. You guys know that. So. To be able to do this over and over again for whatever small amount of money MTV's paying them in 2005, I give them props. Where did you get these? In the fruit section? Uh, dairy. dairy. I wasn't talking to you. Next to dairy? What? Really? Okay, who are you? Are you talking to me? They really have to make sure they piss off these customers fast. That's why they'll look directly in their eye when they're technically talking to their friend on the phone, even though that makes no fucking sense. This isn't scanning. Where'd you get it? Is that familiar? I'm talking to you. Okay. Imagine, it's Thanksgiving. You get the godsend of a break from your family to go get some extra plates from the store. And then this. What? Right there in the fruit aisle. Really? Yeah. Are you sure? I'm 100% serious. You know what the problem is. What? She's being a total bitch. Something else I wondered, like, what businesses are like signing on for this? There is absolutely no benefit to the store for doing this, and maybe you might be thinking, oh, well, they probably get some promotion out of it. What store is this? Tell me what store this is, because you can't fucking tell. If I was a customer at the store and this shit happened to me, I wouldn't think, oh, (laughs) that was cool. No, I'd be like, yeah, I'm not going to that Ralph's ever again. Not ever since MTV hijacked Lane 6 and fucked with my day. What are you talking about? No, what are you talking about? I'm not talking to you. I can't believe you did this. Okay, this timer has to be imaginary. They could not have made it 11 minutes already, and there's no way they're going to make it another four. What's ridiculous? I just want... want Not you, you. This guy is just getting plates. He just wants his plates. I just want to ring up this stuff. I just want to go back and watch my football. What if I give you $100 instead because you're a winner on MTV's Boiling Point? She just grabbed that shit out of the register. She's not even with MTV. It was just her last day on the job. Coffee, bagel, muffin, donut. Oh boy, here we go. Let's piss off New Yorkers on their way to work in the morning. That sounds brilliant. Now, how are they going to do that? 
with normal thing but small. She's the best stuff in New York City, trust me. She is? It's just one bite. Little can give you just as much pleasure as big. And no, I don't believe you. Guys, let me uh, break this down for you as a student of comedy. What they're doing here is uh, something we like to call in the industry a, uh, um, a dick joke. No, I'm not buying this. I want my dollar back. Not if I'm... They are playing a dangerous game with New Yorkers right now. They got lucky they found the tourist that they did. I love how they use this buzzer as like a, oh, you suck, you lose, you can't do this. They couldn't handle having their time wasted and being dehumanized by a streetcar worker for 10 minutes. Boo hoo. Oh, God, please. This is like my break. Oh, it's your break? Well, you should have fucking prepared for this, right? This is the real world. Not sell anymore. I want what I actually paid for. I would love a scientific study to be conducted on the people that make it to the end of these and win because they are built different. You want cash back? I want cash back, yeah. I'll give you a cash back, okay? I'm also gonna give you a hundred dollars because you're a winner on MTV so the camera show for me. Oh, he's just doing a voice. Nice. Jesse, I remember you. Good seeing you again. Oh, I need to collect the money from last week also. God, I can't stress this enough. What business would do this? You must have already had to be such a failing restaurant to sign on to this. It had to have been a restaurant that Gordon Ramsay couldn't fix on Kitchen Nightmares, and they're just like, he might as well fucking try this. No, it's nothing to be embarrassed about. People forget their money all the time. I didn't, that didn't happen. I don't know what you're talking about. I definitely remember you coming in last week. I never forget a face. Give me my chain. Jesus Christ, this show is just so fucking annoying to watch. I wish I had some kind of warning at the beginning. You're watching the most annoying show on TV. Oh yeah. Hey, I don't understand. These guys no, are don't, don't say my name. You don't know me. I think the people making it to the end and winning their money, it's supposed to be like a happy moment that's supposed to balance out all the bullshit from before, but that scale could not be more unbalanced. It is not worth it. You don't feel good at the end of this. You're just like, thank God it's finally over. Give me my change. Don't make me cause a sin in here. You're lucky I don't charge you interest. I don't owe you any money and don't ever tell me I owe you any money. Give me my change now. So you want free food? I feel like oftentimes in these shows, the people that do get like upset and freak out are framed as bad and impatient and can't go with the flow. But like, no, not only are they being put in annoying situations, these actors are then having to like, go over and over and over and over again for like, whatever, 10 to 15 minutes. Essentially just pushing them to their... Boiling point. How do you expect me to make a living? How do you expect me to make a living when I'm giving away free money? Give me my money back. I wonder how many lives this show ruined. I know that sounds a little dramatic, but like, there had to at least be like one or two people who like, this affected their life in some way. <laughs> Scott, you're... Nine minutes late back from lunch. This is the fourth time this week. Boss, I know, I'm sorry. I really was gonna be on time today, but then no, I'm done with the excuses. Sir, I know, but hear me out. I got caught up on MTV's Boiling Point, the show. Yeah, right, I've never even heard of that. Yeah, me neither till today. Not a good show, not a lot of time slots. But sir, I lasted nine minutes and I won $100. Well, good, you're gonna need it because you're fired. <sighs> Thanks, MTV's Boiling Point. Who are you? Just get out. You just won yourself? hundred dollars because you're on MTV's Boiling Points. <laughs> okay, yeah, at the end there, they definitely had a manager come out. So now we're at a guitar center and the actor is an annoying salesman pushing a guitar that nobody wants. This is like a mini guitar. Try it on, please. No, I don't, I don't want to. No, just try it on. This is totally not even like what I was looking for. Thank God they're adding extra annoyance to the already headache and a half of talking to literally any salesman. Is there like full size? A little guy like you? Definitely. Work. I'm not that little. Dude, I'm not fucking little. It's too small. Dude, you need this guitar. Dude. Dude, where are you going? You fucking suck. What, you can't waste a little time at a guitar center? We all know you have all the time in the world. You're just here passing time while your oil change gets done next door. Buy it, go home, sell it on the web, keep the profits. No one's gonna buy a mini guitar. You are. Eight minutes. You have let this man waste eight minutes of your time. This timer cannot be real. It can't be. <laughs> just stop it, okay? Listen, buy it and return it later in the week. What do you say? Dude, help me out. 
I wonder if any of the actors like doing this show ever got like physically harmed. I could very much see that happening and that also like prematurely canceling the show. This is the best guitar for you. Buy it. You have like issues. Like there's something wrong with your brain. Like someone dropped you on your head when you were a baby. There it is. That's that shot I was telling you guys about. There is no way that is not someone saying a line into an actual camera. I'm not going to buy a mini guitar. If you're not going to buy it, maybe you should make some room for other people. I mean, I feel for you that you're going to lose your job. God, I can't imagine watching this show for any other reason than doing a commentary video in 2022. Like, who is sitting down with a drink and snacks in the year 2000 whatever before 7 watching this for genuine entertainment? But like always, I don't know shit about dick, and everyone in the comments of the episode that I'm watching on YouTube are just going bananas for this show. We want more Boiling Point episodes! They need to do a reboot! It's the best show! This is one of the best shows! This show's need to be brought back! It's so funny! <laughs> So this next one is people who are renting RC boats by the water getting fucked with by an actor with a much bigger RC boat with a speaker on it, and he just kind of fucks with them. You ever played with a remote control sailboat before? No. They did an excellent job at hiring a guy that looks like he actually fucks with people with an RC boat in his free time. Dude, just look around for the guy that looks like he would be hitting on girls with an RC boat. It will take you seconds. I feel something tugging on my line. She's with me. Sorry, pal. Looks like your relationship just sprung a leak. This man's about to fight a boat. Those first situations we watched, like, I get how it could piss people off, but, like, who is gonna let this take them to their boiling point? Oh, sorry, I rocked the boat. I think it's an actual guy who's doing it. Why would an actual guy do that? Do you not think there's a actual guy behind this? Do you think you're getting hit on by a transformer right now? Some dork plays with remote control boats all day. A fucking dork playing with remote control boats all day, like... Oh, fuck. Quit being an ass, try to make time with my girl when I'm standing right here. Dude, these are open waters. You can sell your boat wherever the f you want to, but otherwise, you have to take a hike. Damn, baby, I can't stop thinking about earlier when you stood up to that remote control boat guy. That was hot. What the hell's the matter with you? Hey, what's going on over here? I've been getting complaints. This guy here has been trying to run over boats. What? I don't believe it. No, but I'll just have to take the price of the boat on the credit card. Are you kidding? The worker coming over to tell them they're going to be charged for the damaged boat, that's actually a good premise for a boiling point. That would actually piss people off. But it only lasts like two seconds. Jonathan's a busboy who's more interested in picking up the customers than picking up after them. So then the premise of this last one is just a waiter is like relentlessly hitting on a customer at a restaurant, so... Cool. I will drive you all night long. Whatever you need. I will service you. I don't like What he doesn't know doesn't hurt him. Aren't you the guy that sold me those tiny bagels this morning? I wonder if they intentionally left the harassment segment towards the tail end of the episode. I get you, I get you beautiful. I get you beautiful silk gowns and pearl necklaces. I'm gonna tell the manager that you bother me. This is the second time. At the end of this, we're gonna see two security guards and the actual actor come and kick this guy out. He's very inappropriate. He's trying to like ask me on a date. He was getting on you. The gaslighting is mwah, the cherry on top. I'm sorry, I'm, I think I'm gonna have to leave because I come here all the time and this is absurd. What if I gave you $100 because you're a winner on MTV's Boiling Point? I just feel like MTV in their prime would be able to shill out more than a hundred bucks for this. Like, that's so low. Although I am often flabbergasted at what MTV is willing to get away with not doing at the height of their reality TV renaissance. Well, this was, uh, annoying. Thank you to the three of you that suggested Boiling Point. I hope you step in a puddle with socks on and piss the bed tonight. But I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, like, comment, share the video. It helps me out a ton. And if you're not subscribed yet, then <laughs> do it. Come on, just, just do it. That being said, thank you guys again for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.